today we are going to do a compression test to see why the number one cylinder is not firing. Uh, in my own light here. Alright, so I already have the uh, spark plug removed from the number one cylinder. As you can see, maybe. Alrighty, uh, just a 5 8 socket. Um, we have our uh, test gauge here. Uh, let's see. Just thread the test gauge into number one cylinder. Like so. Okay, nice and snug. You have your nipple that the gauge collects into. Uh, the other thing you need to do is make sure that your distributor, that the that the leads are unplugged. Uh, right here are my leads. All right, so that way the uh, distributor doesn't want to start the motor over. Um, yeah, you just take your uh, test gauge here. one hand here. I'm going to start it up and see what we get. Alright, well it looks like we're sitting at 150 for cylinder number one. I'm going to repeat this test for all the other ones and see if we get about the same. I have a feeling this is going to be an ignition issue, not so much a compression issue. Um, my next guess is uh, either timing's out or something wrong with the distributor. Um, can I continue running the rest of these tests? I'll give you the results of each cylinder. Cylinder number five. And it looks like we're reading. Oh, that still looks like 120 on this one. And it looks like we're in 120, so a little less on this one. Cylinder so number seven. Looks like about 150, like number one and three. Um, all right, this is cylinder number two. Yeah, about the same between 120 and 150. All right, cylinder number four. All right, and uh, it looks to be about the same as all the others. All righty, off to the next one. All right, cylinder number six. to be about the same as the other one. This car is running about 150 PSI per cylinder. One more cylinder to go. Alright, last and final cylinder, cylinder number 8. And again, about the same as all the rest of them. So, it's definitely not a compression issue. Uh, we definitely got something else going on today. Uh, I'm going to guess it's it's got to be something in ignition, whether timing's wrong or uh, maybe a bad rotor, bad cap, um, maybe bad spark plug wire, but I have spark down to the cylinder, so I don't know. Um, post that for another video, probably two videos today I'll post up. But uh, that's how you do a compression test. 
Uh, this is a 1979 Trans Am with a 403 Olds. And they seem to be all running around 150 PSI 